Hi, I'm Craig Terriak. I'm the Vice President of Product Management at Scale Computing. And in this video, we will be demonstrating Zero Touch Provisioning, which is a new feature that we have built into SC Fleet Manager. Fleet Manager, of course, is our edge orchestration and management tool that is designed to manage a fleet of hyper clusters, whether that's one cluster or 50,000 clusters. And you'll see the, really the value uh, that Zero Touch Provisioning brings to that type of environment. Zero Touch is really designed to streamline one thing, and that is deploying IT infrastructure. We found that it's a fairly arduous task for IT administrators to, to stand up new infrastructure in distributed environments, mainly because there's no IT expertise on site. And so to get around that, what we see people do is they will either ship the IT personnel to the site, aka roll a truck, or they'll bring the IT infrastructure to where the IT team is uh, in a staging facility. And I think that the latter really gets around a lot of the risk of deploying new infrastructure out at the edge of the network because you stand everything up in a pristine environment, but you're doubling a lot of effort in doing that. Uh, and ultimately, in a lot of these uh, cases, you'll still send IT expertise out to the site whenever you go to deploy that ultimately from the staging facility. So in any of those cases, zero touch provisioning will streamline that effort. And so let's demonstrate that here now. And you'll see that I'm logged into fleet.scalecomputing.com. So this is SC Fleet Manager. This is my entire environment of 15 systems in my fleet. And I'm gonna click on clusters and click on add cluster. It's gonna create store 302. I'm gonna type in the IP information. And then I'm gonna add a node. This is one really cool feature of Fleet Manager is that at Scale Computing, we know everything that you've ever ordered. Uh, we have all the assets on file, and with that asset comes everything from the license information to the node identifier and kind of everything we need to know to help you easily create clusters uh, in your fleet. And so whether that's a single node like I'm doing here, or if it's a multi-node system, just select whichever assets you want to include in that and add them to the cluster definition. So I'll continue on giving this an IP address. and create my cluster. And that's it. The cluster is entirely staged. And the next thing I have to do actually is to get the site to uh, to bring that information, that cluster online. So let me give a call to store 302. Hey, John, you there? Can you help me stand up this cluster? And while John's doing that, let me first say, John is a really smart guy, but he is not an IT administrator. Uh, and this is really all designed to exemplify the fact that you don't necessarily have to send those expensive resources on premises with a feature like zero touch provisioning. So you'll see John plug in the power, you'll see him plug in the networking. And once that's in, the node will actually reach out to Fleet Manager, identify itself in a secure manner, and then receive its configuration file back. So I'm gonna pause and we'll just watch John stand up the infrastructure. And then when I get the thumbs up, we'll go back in the fleet manager to see the progress. John, are we all set? Can I get a thumbs up from you? Thank you. All right, so let me switch back over to Fleet Manager and we'll see the progress. So notice I've gone into the clusters. I have one stage cluster, which is store 302B. And here I'm waiting for the nodes to come online. The very next step is once it comes online is to securely receive its configuration file. So I'm gonna mute myself again and we'll just time-lapse through this as it progresses. All right, there we have it. In about 10 minutes or less, we have a fully provisioned cluster. Let's go over to the clusters tab. We'll store 302. And go to the cluster. Okay. There you have it, fully provisioned and ready to start adding applications. So this is where our new feature like uh, the 
Ansible collection for HyperCore comes in that allows you to in interact with the infrastructure as code to just deploy the, the applications right on top of this. You know, in general, we've seen about a 90% reduction in time spent on premises with the infrastructure deployments with zero touch provisioning. Um, it's a really strong success rate in deployments without issues as well, the kind of the sorts of things you might see arise in a manual configuration on premises. And the net result of all of that is a lot of happy customers, a lot of happy partners. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at scalecomputing.com. Again, I'm Craig at scalecomputing.com and look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.